Hello everyone. We will start with our new topic in object oriented programming. Our new topic is events. Now, what is event in object oriented programming? With the help of event, a method of one class can call the method of another class. Suppose I'm saying I have two classes, suppose class one, class two. Suppose in the class one, I have a method, suppose display. And in the class two, suppose I have a method, suppose message. Then this display method can call the message method of another class with the help of event. So event is something by which method of one class can call the method of another class. Now, whenever we will discuss that topic event, it's always, always a golden rule in object oriented programming. If something is raising, you should handle also. Suppose whenever we raise the exception in try block, we should handle the exception in catch block. The same thing is applicable here. Whenever you are raising the event, you should also handle the event. Now, what is triggering method and what is event handler method? Suppose I am saying this method display with the help of this method display, suppose we are raising the event. Suppose we are raising the event, suppose wrong input. So met the method which is raising the event is called as a triggering method, is called as a triggering method. Now, whenever you are event will raise it should handle also who will handle the event event handler method suppose in this case this method message is you are acting as a is acting as a event handler method so what we will do we will raise a event and who will handle the event event handler method will handle the event now what we learned in this particular video so far with the help of event a method of one class can call the method of another class so the class the class method which is raising the event is called as a triggering method and the method and the class method which is handling the event is called as a event handler method. Anyways, we'll go for practical part. It will make more and more sense at that point of time. Just the golden rule is if something is triggering or something is raising, we should handle also. Now, what is the last step in the event? We should register the event handler method using set handler statement. Anyways, whenever the practical part will come, this line will make more sense. We have to register the event handler method using the set handler statement. Now, we will take a requirement and we will achieve that requirement with the help of events topic. Suppose what the requirement is, if I am passing the sales document number, 
I will display the details of that sales document number. If I am not passing the sales document number, I will raise the event and I will display the output with the help of event handler method. So this is our total requirement and you will get clear cut idea what is the meaning of this particular topic. So what is the summary in this topic? With the help of event, a method of one class can call the method of another class. The class method which is triggering the event is called as a triggering method or the method which is raising the event is called as a triggering method. Now, now the method of the class which is handling that particular event is called as a event handler method and how we will sync these two things by registering the event handler method. Anyways, it will make more sense at the time of practical. In the next video, we'll start with the practical part of the events. Thank you.